Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Divine Elemental. I'm going to pull messages, cards for from a previous reading. Uh, the energies that I was picking up on Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. So this could either be you guys or your person. Take it how it resonates. Leave it if it doesn't. Um, I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet, guys. I'm going to get messages from my deck and then pull from others. And we'll go from there, guys. I hope you're having a good day. I hope everyone is living in the moment, staying safe, and remembering what this journey is about. Self-love, coming into union with yourself, and uh, getting closer to God, Source, whatever you believe in. God, Michael, Spirit, can I please, please, please get messages from the collective's person? Alright, so we have spy. So maybe your person is spying on you or you are spying on them. We have coffee. Get the connection. Dirty thoughts. Aw, I want to marry you. Hold on, guys. Okay. Sorry, I just got a text message. Um, I love your lips. <laughs> Messages from the collective's person. Again, this could be you guys. Energy is fluid. Take it how it resonates. Okay, a lot came out. So bottom of the deck is you are my sunshine. You make me nervous. I have a dirty mind, but I have a big heart. Spring could be significant for you guys. Your person is telling you nothing but us matters. I don't think this is in a like toxic way though guys, so don't take it that way. It's almost like us against the world type of vibe I'm getting. Work, they could be working a lot. I love your smile. I'm not good at flirting. That's so cute. <laughs> I'm such a good flirt, so. When people aren't good at flirting, it just, it makes me giggle. Not that I'm making fun of them. I just think it's cute. Watching the struggle. <laughs> funny. Uh, you or your person could uh, think you guys are funny. I'm afraid of you breaking my heart. I am getting that this is a mix, guys, of you and your person's energy. So make sure you guys, whatever feels like it's you. And whatever feels like it's them. I need you. I'm hearing your person would never admit it, but they need you. Style. I can't move on from you. We share the same core values. Your eyes are so seductive. Addictions. Heartbroken. What if you don't feel the same? I'm hearing, um, breaking your own heart because of this hugs 
Let's get away together. It was actually that Kelly Clarkson song, Breaking My Own Heart. I think it was like years ago. I want to take you out on a date. So they could plan a getaway with you as a date. I'm hearing uh, they want to make sure that they go to a place where you guys won't be interrupted or worried that other people will catch you is honestly what I'm hearing. So I don't know if there's like a third party thing or people don't agree with this. I think of you even when I shouldn't be. Uh, yeah, might be third party. Winter could be significant. Little black dress. So they might wear that little black dress that you want them to wear on this date. Write me a song. Split the deck at, it's in the cards. So I'm gonna put this here, put this here. And we are going to pull some messages. Yeah, let's see this one. God, Michael Spirit, can I please get some messages from the collective's person? I have unwittingly sabotaged our connection. I'm working up the courage to contact you. Bottom of the deck, I didn't mean what I said. I'm hearing turmoil right now, so this could be like a mindset that your person may be in. I am faced with constant reminders of you. I'm afraid of losing you. Obstacles. Bottom of the deck, I'm sending you loving energy. Can you feel it? Last minute messages from this deck, from the collective's person. You make me nervous. I wish you knew how grateful I am to have met you. I wish I could turn back the clock and do things over. Masculines, I'm not gonna lie, I am kind of feeling like this is your energy. You are the first person to make me feel this way. I think that's both of you guys. Passion and desire, same, both. I'm done playing games. I'm sending you love and energy, can you feel it? And that was on the bottom of the deck before, so you both are definitely feeling each other's loving energy. Like, they're wondering if you are. Silent treatment. Your divine feminines could feel like masculines. That's the predicament you have them in right now. Is like they're in this silent treatment. I'm gonna pull some more from here. God, Michael, Spirit messages from the collective person. I am so sorry. Messages from the collective person. This was just a fling. If you guys were like friends with benefits, that's what they're saying. One-sided relationship. Or maybe if they went to someone else, they're letting you know that it was just a fling and it was a one-sided relationship. Um, like their heart wasn't in it, but they physically were in it. Our story isn't over yet. That could be why they're saying I'm so sorry because they are aware that you you guys are end game. Can we start over? You are always on my mind. Jealous and possessive. I'm hearing that song. It's like a super old song. Uh, you are always on my mind. Like when I say old, like my mom's time. I think it might have been like Elvis Presley. Yeah, I don't know it. 
It's not even a song that I listen to. There is a third party. Yeah, exactly. Long distance. You know what I'm hearing? This third party could be very jealous of you and trying to stay possessive of your person. Long distance. This could be um, actual physical long distance, like overseas, or this could be um, like you guys have been feeling very distant because of the silent treatment. I dive in and out of relationships. This could be what your person is trying to heal, like their independence. I pulled away because I am overwhelmed with all the things going on in my life. So emotionally unavailable. I'm hearing burnt out. You deserve better than me. So they have to work on some insecurities. Bottom of the deck, I'm planning on reaching out to you. We're going to pull Hidden Truths. God, Michael Spirit, can we please, please, please get Divine Feminines out here? Can we get some messages for the Divine Masculines from the Divine Feminines? Let's get some messages from the Divine Feminines so Masculines can feel the love too. I can't be with you. That's not loving at all. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to laugh. I can't be with you. I still feel the pain. Again, uh, I think this is masculine. So masculines are taking over. So feminines, just listen up. Your masculines are trying to tell you they're going through a lot right now. I miss seeing you. You know what else I'm getting with this? I can't be with you. It's not that um, they can't be with you because they don't want to. It's more of like I'm feeling like someone's stopping them. Or maybe like... Um, like a thought pattern, like a programming of this world is stopping them and them thinking that they can't be with you. I miss seeing you. I find you so attractive. I watch your social media. We did get the spying card. I do feel like this is both divine feminine and masculine though. Um, I want you so badly. Bottom of the deck. I want to start over is under that. Messages from the... Okay. I wish we could go back. Me too. I compare others to you. You didn't see my tears. Yeah, I still feel the pain. You didn't see my tears. So I do feel like um, masculines are going through it right now. They're getting hit with that longing and that sadness and the like, what the hell did I just do? Like, did I really just miss out on my divine counterpart that was literally made for me I miss being with you so two things of uh, missing you I hide my feelings is on the bottom of that I want to start over we don't share the same values but we also pulled we share the same core values so maybe like 3d again that programming bullshit um, it's the values that you guys don't share, but like core values like family is important, um, stability, um, children, if you have them, like those things are very important to you. Loyalty, that kind of thing. I am recovering. Oh, yep. And then we had addiction, so maybe they're going through that right now, and that's why they're very emotional too. Yeah, if anyone's dealing with addictions and going through a spiritual awakening, man, I pray for you guys. I really do. I I'm sending you loving energy because this is not easy, you know. I still have feelings for you. I just heard, did you ever have feelings for me? The feminines were asking, maybe so. We did get the, I hide my feelings, so maybe you never expressed that they had feelings for you so they're kind of like what am i supposed to believe you know energetically i feel like you love me and you know i'm the love of your life but in the 3d you tell me something different you show me something different rather i won't let you down masculines are saying though no, don't lose don't lose hope feminines you let me down
I feel like this is like you guys answering each other. The Divine Masculine says, I won't let you down. The Divine Feminine said, you let me down already. You know? I don't know what comes next. I am waiting patiently. Yeah, this is definitely... Divine Feminines are coming through now. I admire you is on the bottom of the deck. I daydream about a life with you. Last minute messages from the Collectives person. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay, bottom of the deck. I miss being with you. We're going to pull that because that came out twice on the bottom of the deck. I don't know how to feel is on the bottom of that. So, I am in a committed relationship. I can be myself with you. I have trouble with intimacy. I'm hearing they can have sex with people, but with you, they feel like it's going to be a whole different level of intimacy and it scares the crap out of them. Um, like they fantasized before about being with someone and them literally taking their breath away or like crying in bed type of thing. But with you, they actually feel like it's possible and um, it scares them to actually imagine just being with one person for the rest of their life they didn't think that that would be possible that they would be sexually fulfilled with just that one person or emotionally fulfilled that kind of thing i feel the sexual tension i see life differently now i feel so happy with you i need security this could be why we kept pulling that King of Pentacles because the Divine Masculines wanted to like basically be perfect for the Divine Feminine. I can't reach out. Um, this could be Feminines too. I've touched on this in previous videos where I've said like for me personally, um, someone took my phone and deleted all my messages, you know, um, contacts blocked certain people uh, to where I have no access to be able to reach out uh to someone like my twin so this could be your person saying that's why they can't reach out type of thing um or they can't reach out because of a third party uh let's get these messages here hidden truths god michael spirit messages from the collective's person we need to let each other go. I do feel like this is past energy, but I also feel like the Divine Masculines are coming through like, hey, Feminines, you have to surrender a little bit more. But I also feel like that's also the Divine Feminine telling the Masculine to accept this. This is a union that's meant and divinely guided. We will be together again. See what I mean? I didn't even look. I don't look at the cards as I pull. I just look at what I'm pulling. I remember every detail of that day. So that could be when they said over here that they regret what they said or they wish they could take their words back. Messages from the collective person, please. Messages from the collective person. Yeah, a lot of desire, sexual desire. I want you. I feel like this sexual tension, desire, passion, uh, I do feel the energy is mutual. I wish I could take my words back. See what I mean? See what I mean? I lost myself for a little while. I'm also hearing, um, you know, I'm so sorry for trying to stop this connection and ignoring it like it never existed and putting you in a position where you felt like you were just some girl is what I heard, but it could be some boy. You're not just to me. Uh, I know I crossed the line with you. I will wait for a sign from you. That could be the divine. You're waiting for a sign from the divine. I couldn't let you get close to me. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. I feel you leaving me behind. Yep, again, I will wait for a sign from you. It's time for me to heal now is on the bottom. I am not available. I replay our conversations over and over. Yeah, that one hopped out, so I'm going to take that.
God, Michael, Spirit, messages for this divine union from the collective person. Apology. You can expect the apology you want to hear. So, divine masculines or divine feminines, if you're expecting an apology, your person is going to come, excuse me, and um, give you that trust. It is safe to trust in this situation. So, I feel like this could be for both of you. Um, trust that this is a divine union, that you guys are not crazy, and you're not making a mistake. Bottom of the deck is wait. The timing is not quite right. So it could be some more healing and some more security needing to be built, or I'm feeling, or what I'm healing. Jesus. Let's try that again. What I am hearing is ending of certain situations. Messages from the collective's person for this divine union. Nothing? That's all? Messages? <laughs> Support. Lean on your inner circle during this time. Guys, always trust your intuition, though. Um, it's like I touched on my video yesterday. I ask for opinions on people that I... I ask the opinions of people that I trust. But at the end, I'm going to follow my intuition and what is best for me. Bottom of the deck is Twin Flame. This is a divine counterpart connection. So, like I said, trust your intuition and then Twin Flame came out. <sighs> Let's get some romance, angel, oracle. Gone, Michael, spirit. Any messages from the collective's person to the collective at this time? For this divine union, separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. So your person is letting you know that they are aware that this separation is needed, needed for you guys to do some more healing, to um, gather yourself and you know handle any, everything in the 3d that you're supposed to handle playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner useful spirit of fun to shine so i do feel like your person is starting to embrace being more playful and enjoying life pay attention to red flags the signs are cautioning you i am feeling like your divine feminist trying to send you a warning about someone take it if that resonates leave it if it doesn't um, I'm hearing this support system, this inner circle. Make sure these people have your best interests. So say, for instance, if you're asking an opinion of your person to someone that you trust, but that person doesn't sincerely like the person you're asking about, like your person, maybe it's best not to get their opinion. Um, love yourself versus on the bottom of the deck. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. This could be why you guys are still needing time to heal, though. I'm getting that very heavy. Um, I feel like you guys are ready for union, but I think both of you kind of are afraid that you guys will break each other's hearts. And it's because you guys love so deeply with each other that you're afraid that you're going to lose yourself in each other and it become like a toxic situation. But I think this is why your person is saying, hey, I think we need to love each other first, like solo. So when we come together, it's a healthy love, you know. Last minute messages from your person, please. This is a lot. Okay. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. I feel like this is you telling your feminines this. Stay optimistic. Have trust in me. I will do the right thing. Um, retreat just fell out in the bottom. It's time to disconnect from the world. We did get that getaway card. So maybe masculines, this is what you're planning with your feminine. Is like a getaway, a retreat. Or this could be just like embracing nature. And going out to collect yourself. Okay. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So your feminine is letting you know that regardless of how long it's taken and how sad they feel or you know losing hope type of thing they do know that it was worth the wait that the healing was necessary and they're grateful for that 
We also have give your relationship a chance to work on your partnership. Yeah, so be open to this, guys. You'll know when the time is right. Even if someone's saying the time is not right and if you feel it, you go with that. And again, if someone's telling you, hey, the time's now, take a leap of faith, and you feel like it's not your time, don't do it, guys. Trust your intuition, honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. We did get winter, too, so maybe around winter time, you guys are gonna... Jeez, uh, I just heard tie the knot, but I was just thinking <laughs> going on a vacation again. Heart-to-heart <laughs> uh, -heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. I do feel deeply that your feminine wants to do this. They want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. They want to see your vulnerability is what I'm healing, hearing. They want to... Oh, man. My shirt is upside... My shirt is inside out. I was about to say upside down. I think I'm upside down today. Jeez, how is that even possible? Okay. Anyways... I feel like your feminine wants to open up to you and have an open conversation and you guys just like be real and raw. Doesn't matter if there's tears, laughter, whatever, like embrace is what I heard. Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. So this is two cards of support. So make sure the, again, I keep getting, make sure the people that you're asking for support is someone you can trust. Um... This could be family too, guys. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. This is my twin flame card. We did get twin flame here. So you guys could be twin flames, but this could also just be differences that this person was talking about. You guys have different differences. So maybe you're more religious and they're churchgoer. Um, I just saw 654. Sorry that the wire just shook everything. Um, yeah, this could just be different views uh sexual orientation you know the way their family is the way your family is you could come from money they are not <laughs> you know engagement damn okay so maybe you guys are gonna get married very soon i heard winter again um engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment don't freak out guys because this could just mean literally you go from not talking to being in a relationship or not talking to now talking you know what i mean like don't get scared. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. But be passionate. Don't be afraid to to dive into someone is what I just heard. New love. Could be diving into this new love. A new person has start, stirred your romantic feelings. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And this could be that religious factors. This could be those differences. Like your person could probably... Um, never see themselves in the past with someone like you and um, <laughs> I'm hearing you weren't their typical type but it nothing's stopping them now it doesn't matter that they, they fall in love with soul and everything outside of that comes naturally after that um, yeah so children your love life is being affected by children and we did get children in the other reading too a lot so this could be a factor of this third party and having a hard time leaving that situation. Let's get Lover's Oracle. And then we are going to close out this reading. Guys, go check out. I'm going to do an 18 plus for this because there is a lot of passion and desire. All right. So we have the dove here. I'm seeing like a little olive branch. So maybe masculines are wanting to like send out an olive branch to their their feminines and kind of like test the waters before they go all full in to see how they're gonna be with them you may not always understand why certain things happen however there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil a blessing will soon be revealed which i did feel like the the masculines were going through turmoil right now so stay optimistic feminines a blessing is about to be revealed. All right, so these came out again. So another dove. So I, I feel like that's God's pres presence. Yep. New beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. I even said embrace too. 
Live your dreams passionately. I heard I'm going to want to wait, but I don't know if I can wait. And it was in reference to this. So we're all adults here. You guys can figure it out. Uh, we have this card right here. <laughs> My beloved, though we, yeah, though we may be physically apart, spiritually, spiritually, we are always united for love transcends space and time. Transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So I had a really hard time reading this, which I don't know why, because I've read this card before. So this could be doubt that um, even though physically you guys are apart, spiritually you are always united, you guys could be doubting this with your person or your person could be doubting this. So maybe come into conscious union first before the physical union can occur. And then we have this one, and I have to cover it because of, yeah. So I do feel like you guys are very much mirroring each other. Um, and then it says, emotions are a natural and necessity. I don't know why I always have an issue with this flow. Emotions are a natural and necessity. Necessary part of life. I have a speech impediment, guys, so my bad, <laughs> okay? Sometimes I have a hard time. If it's like back-to-back -back of the same letters, my bad. I'm, I'm not slow, I promise. But they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must go let go of resentment. I'm sorry, I'm still laughing at myself. Um, yeah, hold on. Let me read this to myself so I can actually give you the message. Yeah, so what I'm feeling with this feminines is um, try not to hold too much resentment against your masculines for what you think they did or what they have done or what they've said. Um, this could be why you guys are in a Queen of Swords energy right now. Um, I know me personally... Um, like when I do these readings, sometimes I, I see, I feel my, my masculine's energy like squirm in and I'm like, shit, I didn't want to know that because I, I'm like one of those, I don't want to go out of my way to hurt myself, you know? And, um, and I'm, I'm an emotional person. So I, how do I explain this? I know that my masculine has their own life to live right i just saw three four five but i i when this first was happening i kind of felt kind of like uh a bit territorial not in like a, a weird toxic way but like i knew that she was mine so a part of me was like okay you know 303 could be significant um you have her for now but at the end she's she's mine you know like so whatever um 13 sorry 33 13 could be significant 313 also could be significant but what i'm getting at is if for some reason you found out that your person you know say for instance hooked up with someone i'm not saying that my twin did this i'm just saying 3333 three, three, three could be significant guys but I'm just saying if they hooked up with a person that you necessarily don't like as a human being because they have done you so dirty, um, masculines are trying, oh, sorry, not masculines, the divine is trying to tell you that's human ego, that's jealousy, that's resentment that you're holding, that's you're going to bring into this relationship or this union that is not necessary and that you have to work through you know like I said there's certain things that I've literally accidentally found out um not purposely trying to and it just like pissed me the fuck off excuse my language it really did and and that's the thing like my twin triggers me like nobody else because I I think back to when we were friends and there was a scenario that happened with my son when she had like taken him out and they were all hanging out and stuff um like you know her kids my kid um but normally it wouldn't have even bothered me like what happened because it wasn't even that big of a deal but I actually got like really upset about it and I didn't know why but it was almost like one of those things like how dare you not tell me kind of thing you know this is my kid 
and um, it was almost like you out of anyone should have known. You should have told me. And mind you, we just started being friends. Four, five, six could be significant. Actually, three, four, five, six could be significant. Um, definitely countdown to something. But anyways, um, I was, we didn't even know each other that long. But yet, I put her, like, higher than everyone. Like, kind of on a pedestal. Like, hey, we have this unspoken agreement. You should have told me this. Like, how dare you? Kind of thing. But, anyways, bottom of the deck is this lovely card right here. Which I do feel like will happen for you guys in the future, near future. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Like I said... Um, divine feminines need to surrender a little bit more and divine masculines need to accept so um, yeah I can't ignore that I just saw this secret admirer someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on which I did pick this up in the reading so go check it out um, I do feel like the divine feminines aren't aware of how significant the divine masculines actually feel for them all right, guys, like, subscribe, comment if you want me to do things differently. If you want to just show love, um, sorry for all the damn talking today. My bad. <laughs> I love you guys.